And we begin with a stunner on the campus of Gonzaga University tonight. The nation's longest active home winning streak came to an end in the kennel. The sixth ranked GU men fell to LMU in a stunning upset. We have team coverage tonight with Krem 2's Andrew Quinn in the kennel. First, though, let's kick things off with sports director Travis Green right here in the studio. Travis. Hey, Mark, 75 straight wins in the kennel. You have to go back to 2018 for the last time the Bulldogs lost at home. That was to in-conference rival St. Mary's, a team that always gives the Zags a tough matchup. Tonight, it was in-conference foe Loyola Marymount. Lions' Cam Shelton gave Gonzaga fits all night a game high 27 points a big three here to give LMU a seven point lead with under three minutes to go but Gonzaga had some more late game magic Drew Timmy had a rough game but came up big when they needed him bucket cuts the lead to four after an LMU score Malachi Smith watch closely here the perfect tip to Timmy four point game again Timmy had 17 points in total about 30 seconds later Nolan Hickman, we've seen him do this this season. Three-pointer makes it a two-point game. That's what you call a big bucket. On the other end, Spokane's very own Anton Watson comes up with the intercepted pass here and finishes with the game-tying jam, 66 all with just over a minute to play. Drew Timmy would later knock down a free throw to give GU a lead, which gave Shelton and the Lions one last chance, and Shelton Gets it to go off the glass for a one-point lead. So Gonzaga has 13 seconds left to make something happen. Timmy misses. Strother gets the board, but he misses too. The streak is over at 75 as Gonzaga falls 68 to 67. Our Andrew Quinn has more from the kennel. Well, Travis, it finally happened. For the first time in 76 games here at the kennel, the six-ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs were defeated by Loyola Marymount. 68 to 67. Really nothing went well for Gonzaga tonight. LMU was much more physical, out-rebounded the Zags by nine, and held Drew Timmy to just five made field goals. I feel like our, physica our physicality could have been way better um, in the first half. Um, we find ourselves getting punched in the mouth quick and fast with these, um, these teams. So I just feel like, um, you know, if we come out juice, energized, ready to fight, we should be in a better position than we were tonight. The Lions were led by grad student guard Cam Shelton, who had 27 points and buried three big threes down the stretch to make the upset a reality. He's a good player, man. He's just a really good player. He's, he's, he's great with the ball. Uh, he had come, come, coming into this game, he had not been shooting well from three, and he got going from three on his step back. He's a great finisher around the rim. I think he's one of the leading scorers in the, in the league. Uh, he's strong, has a lot of freedom, so kind of use all those factors. That makes a, a guy hard to guard. The Zags now have a quick turnaround as they will head to Stockton to take on the Pacific Tigers on Saturday. Tip off for that game is set for 7 p.m. For now, reporting at the McCarthy Athletic Center, Andrew Quinn, Crem 2 Sports.